Objects printed in vertical position, but the break is not along one layer. This means one very important thing. Welcome to my tech farm. Polymaker became very active nowadays and they are sending me new filaments faster than I can test them. This is their new PTG filament. And uh, this video and the whole channel is sponsored by Polymaker, but this don't have any effect to my measured results. But yes, it has an effect that I'm testing more filaments from them. So I have here five colors. Otherwise it will be only one or two. So I have this filament in blue, silver, gray, dark gray and black colors. Specifications from the website. New high speed formula, printing speeds up to 300 mm per second and much higher layer adhesion and this is very important property for me. It can really benefit from those uh, high speed nozzles because it don't have carbon fibers. Print temperatures between 240 and 260 degrees Celsius, the bed between 60 and 70 degrees Celsius and the drying if necessary then on 60 degrees Celsius up to 5 hours. They also claim that it is tough and durable. Well, I'm not sure compared to what, because uh, in most cases the PTG is more brittle compared to the PLA, but it will be tested too. Nice vacuum packaging and this material protects the filament better from the moisture and the bag is resealable on the smaller side. Typical cardboard spool with a lot of useful information, which includes the weight of the empty spool, which is 140 grams, and also we have the scale to see approximately how much filament we have on the spool. The filament is very flexible. According to the polymaker, spools have hardened edges and they can go into the AMS units. And here they are unboxed. Again, blue, silver, which is very similar to this gray, just a little bit darker. This is a dark gray and black. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Four filaments are loaded and the printing will be on P2S. With the first filament, which is blue, I will use this golden texture PI sheet without any glue on it because I'm curious how strong will be the bed adhesion. Now probably it will be very strong and later I will add some glue on it if necessary. Now a very good sheet for this is that black texture PI sheet which we got with the early P1P or P1S. But since it is not available anymore, I'm using this one. Currently they have a profile for X1 Carbon, not for P2S. But let's analyze this one, so I will use these numbers anyway. The maximum flow 21, print temperature 235 and 250. 235 properly to avoid too strong bed adhesion and this is the maximum part cooling. The start is good. On the first layer the temperature was 235 degrees Celsius, properly to avoid too big adhesion to the bed. Now it is 250 and it's very fast. Now the ventilation system on P2S is very specific. This printer is designed to print always with a closed door, even with the PL or PTG. If I open the door it will give me this error. But in this profile the AUX fan is turned off and the temperature inside went up to 42 degrees Celsius, which is still okay for this uh, PTG, but I don't want to go much higher, so I'm enabling the AUX fan. Only 10% and it will create some small overpressure and push that hot air outside. 10 more minutes of printing, these are the last vertically printed objects and the maximal air temperature inside was 42 degrees Celsius and the printing is really nice, but I will analyze it later when it's finished and also I want to check the bed adhesion. The printing is finished and those overhangs look really nice. This is my reference for the print quality. Now let's check the bed adhesion. It is very good until it's hot, I wait until it cools down and then I'm curious how strong will it be. The bed is 35 degrees Celsius, now let's try to remove it. Oh, great. And look at the quality of these overhangs, perfect printing. This is the silver color, second layer, very fast already. Another good start, this is gray color. Gray is finished too. Dark gray. But under the light it's not too dark. Great printing in first attempt. And now the last black color. Only I have to take out one filament. 
if everything is okay with the printing then this part of the video is always boring but that's not always the case test subjects are printed ready for mechanical testing only i'm running out from the boxes now <laughs> test side test with horizontal printed test objects smallest cross section area is 4 by 4 millimeters and the results you can follow on the left side The Tenside tests around 100 kg brake load, only the dark grey was a little bit weaker compared to the other colors, and I'll include here the average PETG which is calculated from 26 pieces without fibers from that summary table for my pattern supporters, and we can see that this new PETG is stronger compared to the average material. Layer adhesion test with vertical printed test objects. an extremely important property for technical filaments here you can see my rating for this type of the test object and we can see fantastic layer adhesion the blue is extremely good in this case and look at this compared to the average PETG shear test horizontal printed objects Shear test, vertical printed test specimens. Shear test printed in horizontal position, actually very similar to the average PETG but printed in vertical position where the layer adhesion is extremely important. Here we can see huge difference compared to the average PTG material. Torsion test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects. And now printed in vertical position. I know different brake types between the horizontal and vertical test objects, but pay attention to this cross-section surface. When it is not along the one layer, like here with the black, this is a typical sign of great layer adhesion. Again between the colors no big difference, these are printed in horizontal and in vertical position, and look how much stronger are they compared to the average PTG. Crip has a deformation of a constant load of 1.25 kg. I already measured them, this is day 1, now let's jump in the time. Day 5, time for the last measuring. 18.50 18 18.42 18.18 18.20 17.89 Removing the loads. And their permanent deformation, it is there, but it is very similar for all 5 colors. This is the distance between two reference surfaces and no significant difference between the colors, but the average PTG has also very similar deformation. But the creeping is the difference between two days and here we can see some difference. It's not big, but a more creeping I can see on average PTG. Temperature test in the oven, where I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. And these materials started to deform at around 63 degrees Celsius which is typical for PTG materials, a little bit below it. The average is actually 66 degrees Celsius. And for the touch, there is no big difference between them. Three point bending tests, side by side all five materials. And I'm measuring the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. Currently this is deformation under 5 kilograms and under 10 kilograms. 
And after this test, I couldn't notice any permanent deformation on these test objects. If we compare the colors only, there is no big difference between them, but if we compare it with the average PTG, we can see less deformation, but also look at this, uh, more deformation during this one minute on average PTG. Impact test with half kilogram hammer, first on my DIY impact testing machine. The numbers are distance from the zero position, currently this is the black test object, silver, and the blue. Digital Sharpie impact test supports on two sides, I will just show you two measurings. This was the first one, and now the last one, this was blue. And now the results in the right upper corner, grey, dark grey, black, silver, and blue. And now switching the hammer, moving to the IZOD impact testing. Again the first measuring, this is grey. And the last one, this was blue. And again the results, grey, dark grey, black, silver, and blue. And now the impact test results, first uh, my DIY impact tester, and uh, we can see that uh, there is no big difference between the colors, but the average PTG is tougher compared to these uh, polymaker PTG materials. This is the result of the digital ISOD and this is of the digital Sharpie and this is the summary of all three and this is presented on this graph. And we can see very similar on my DIY ISOD and the digital ISOD impact tester. With brittle filaments they are always very similar. And the result of the digital Sharpie impact testing, this is a different test type and it is not comparable with the previous two. But overall this is very brittle material independent from the color. Two more things I noticed later. I use silver PTG for E3D hot and flow test. Five was prepared in Orca slicer and the filament was on the external spool holder one week. The relative humidity in this winter terrace is 50-55%. Those spots on the bottom of the objects are from moisture absorbed by outer loops. So depend on the storage method, but I highly recommend drying of the spool before the printing. After pushing few hours into this spool, it is slightly deformed, that's why I'm not too big fan of cardboard spools and I'm happy that Polymaker is starting offering refill filaments. In the same E3D video I did a layer adhesion test too and this PTG have much better layer adhesion compared to the PLA basic which is not typical for PTG filaments. Our results one more time without any additional comments and these 5 lines will be added to the summary table for my Patreon supporters. Results of the creep test. Tensile test and a layer adhesion, shear test horizontal and vertical, bending test deformation after 30 seconds, bending test deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds, torsion test horizontal and vertical, temperature test and then impact test, this is DIY ISOD impact test. ISO Digital, Sharpie Digital, summary of all three which is presented on this graph. <laughs> this was again huge work and one more similar is coming with a new PET GF filament because there I have six colors. So if you want to help to this video and channel, if you see this hype button, please click it. It's appearing only in some countries and only on the smartphones, but it will always help to ranking for this video. Back to this PTG. Fantastic filament, great layer adhesion, great tensile strength and maybe only disadvantage I can mention that it is more brittle compared to even average PETG, but if this property is not so important for you, then this is great filament. Pay attention if you buy from the resellers that don't send you the old version, the polylight PETG, you can see the difference on the sticker, on new version there is no polylight word. Also don't forget PETG is sensitive to moisture, so keep it on dry place or dry before ever printing and you will have nice objects. If you have some other experience with this filament, you know the lines down in the comment section. To my Patreons, thank you all for your support. And to all you others, thank you for watching this video until the end. And happy printing!